Good morning, everybody. My name is Rudolfo, and I'm studying to get my next license in the boiler industry. So today I have nine questions for you guys, and the last one is gonna be a much higher level license, okay? So let's start with the basics. Question one. To check the water level in the gauge glass of a steam boiler, you also can use what? To check the water level in the gauge glass of a steam boiler, you also can use what? Tricox. Okay. Tricox are three valves. So the top one, when you open, you should see only steam coming out. The middle one that has the water level, when you open, you should see a mix of water and steam. And the bottom one, when you open, you should see water. But of course, because inside of the, the water column, it has pressure. When you open and you release the pressure, it flash into steam so you need to get used to look at it okay because at the first time you're gonna think is all three has only steam okay but next question if you fail a written exam when can you apply again if you fail a written exam, when can you apply again? So over here in Massachusetts, after 60 days, make sure you know in your state or in your city. Name three ways to automize number six oil. Name three ways to automize number six oil. So first way, mechanical burners, rotary cup. Second way, pressure automation. And third way, steam slash compressed air automation. Next question, give five reasons a boiler number, a boiler burning number six oil would smoke. Five reasons a boiler burning number six oil would smoke. You could say not enough air supplied will cause smoke. A cold oil would cause smoke. Insufficient oil pressure would cause smoke. Low automizing pressure. A cold boiler would smoke. Dirty plugged burner tips would cause smoke. You may have some moisture in the fuel. You name it. What's the purpose of a steam trap? What's the purpose of steam trap? The purpose of steam trap is to remove air and non-condensable non gases from the steam line without the loss of steam, okay? And if you cannot remember that, you can use removes condensables and non-condensable gas from the steam line without losing any steam. What's required to raise the temperature of one pound of water from 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 212. What's required to raise the temperature of one pound of water from 
32 degrees Fahrenheit to 212. So, BTU. BTU is to raise one pound of steam, uh, one pound of water, one degree Fahrenheit. So one pound of water, one degree Fahrenheit is one BTU. So 212 minus 32. So 212 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It's equal 180 BTUs. So you will need 180 BTUs to raise the temperature of one pound of water from 32 to 212. Steam at 100 PSI and 400 Fahrenheit is steam at 100 PSI and 400 degrees Fahrenheit is so, two things. It could be saturated steam or superheated steam. Now, every time that you do your round and you write it down, the pressure in your boiler and the temperature, okay, will help you to answer this question. And also, you can look on the steam table. Uh, today, I don't have the steam table. Maybe next time, I want to save it. I'm going to bring in my book and I'm going to show you. But steam at, 300, at 100 PSI, it's not 400 Fahrenheit, it's lower. So that it is a superheated steam, okay? What's radiation? Remember, heat is transferred three ways. Convection conduction and radiation. So what is radiation? Radiation, it's a form of heat transferred by wave. Last question of the basic uh, study. At zero PSIG, how many BTUs are necessary to change one pound of water at 212 into one pound of steam at zero PSIG. How many BTUs are necessary to change one pound of water at 212 into one pound of steam? How many BTUs? So we're going to need 970 BTUs because that's the amount of energy that we needed to change one pound of water into one pound of steam. 970 BTUs. The fact that this question let us know that zero PSIG is because when you add pressure Okay, the amount of BTUs to change the state of the water is different, okay? So the fact that it's saying zero PSID is just to make sure that nobody will get confused and we're going to use the 970 BTUs, okay? Now, like I promise, another level questions, much higher. Let's go to ASME code, okay? You have a four inch safety valve. Can, can that valve be threaded on the boiler? Four inch safety valve. So, if we check it out, the ASME code, okay, the SME code say no, okay, uh, actually it doesn't, 
it say a little different, but just make fun. So over here saying, save to valves over three inches in diameter for pressures over 15 PSI shall be a flanged or welded and inlet. Okay. And then uh, a bunch of other uh, things that's very important to know. Like every boiler, sh every boiler should have one safety valve. Boiler over 500 square feet of heating surface should have two or more safety valves. Okay, um, no valves between safety valve and the boiler, okay? The discharging piping cannot be smaller from the inlet piping, okay? Safety valve should be capable to discharge all the steam that the boiler can produce without allowing uh, the pressure to rise more than 6% of maximum allowed in working pressure, okay? And the state valve sh must remain fully open until is a drop in pressure, okay? Blowback, what's the minimum? Two PSI. So the blowback will be will vary between two and eight psi, but no more than four percent of the set pressure. Okay. So that's a few things about safety valve. That for a higher license we must to know. Okay, and they will ask you that. Okay, be prepared to, to know the ASME symbol, okay, so let's get a piece of paper here, let's see, only use this one, so, just a bonus question, okay, I'm gonna draw here, a symbol, My drawing is terrible. So, S, what that stand for? And V, what that stand for? Power boilers, not safety valve. And V is for safety valve. Okay? So, the symbol should look like this okay so s power boilers m miniature l locomotive and e electric boiler good job what's u u unfired pressure um, PMP PMP is piping but they have another one I think is uh, I, I go back I, I get back together with you guys about that it's a NP I think NP or SP that's plastic vessel okay so I hope you guys like it I hope you guys share with friends any questions shoot me email my emails will be on the description below thank you